everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix DirectX errors on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to download the latest version of DirectX. So first of all you have to check which version you have on your computer. To do this just press the Windows button then simply type DX, DAG and then select it as a run command from the search results. Now the DirectX diagnostic tool window will open and in here under system information you can check the last bit of info. This is the DirectX version. In case you have DirectX 12 then you don't need to download anything further. But in case you don't have it we need to move on to the browser to download DirectX 12 from the Microsoft webpage. So just go to your browser and make sure to access the following link that I will also put in the description below. Once you access the link the download setup will automatically show up on your desktop. So make sure to choose a location for the setup and click on the save button. Now just minimize the browser and then make sure to double click on the setup file. Continue with accepting the agreement and afterwards just proceed with the on-screen instructions. After installing the latest version of DirectX, you can restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to check for Windows updates. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane scroll down until you find and select the Windows update section and then on the right side make sure to click on the blue check for updates button. Now Windows will try to scan for the best possible updates and install them on your PC. Then you can restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. You can also install optional updates. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane select Windows Update and afterwards on the right side make sure to click on Advanced Options. Now in here just scroll down until you find Additional Options and click on the Optional Updates section. In my case there are no optional updates available at this time so make sure in here if you have any available updates to click the Driver Updates drop down menu and then select the optional update you want to install. Then you can just select the blue download and install button and lastly wait until the installation is finished. Then restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to use device manager. To do this right click the windows button and select device manager from the list of options. Now make sure to identify the driver that you need to update. In our case we will use the display adapter section so click it to expand it then right click the problematic device and select the update driver option. Now click on search automatically for drivers and then Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. You can then restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run an SFC scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here type the following command and press enter after this command. Note that this type of scan can take some time and afterwards just restart your PC and then check if the problem still persists. And lastly another great solution is to perform a system restore. To do this press the windows button then simply type rstrui and then select it as a run command from the search results. In here just click on the next button then select the earliest point in time before the errors occurred and afterwards click on next again and lastly finish by pressing on the finish button of course. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.